Before we get into trivia, it's time to throw it over to Mikey P with your Rangers Ed 150, the fastest 150 seconds in the National Hockey Podcast. Hey, and welcome back to the Rangers Ed 150. Wildcard races in the East and West are going crazy right now. With teams flying up and down the standings in both conferences. With around nine games to go, give or take, for each team, there's certainly more fireworks to come. Around the league, out west in the Pacific Division, Vancouver and Edmonton are still in the one and two spots, but losses to Edmonton and Calgary dropped the Kings out of the top three into fourth, while Vegas jumped out of the wild card and up into the top three on the heels of a 3 0 and 1 week. As it stands, Edmonton is six back of Vancouver with two in hand and with a difficult April schedule of Dallas, Vegas, Vancouver, and Colorado twice. Vancouver has an equally tough schedule in April with Vegas twice, LA, Edmonton, Calgary, and Winnipeg on the docket. So there's certainly going to be a dogfight for that number one spot in the division down the stretch. On to the central where Dallas is firmly planted in that number one spot, three points ahead of the Colorado Avalanche, who do have a game in hand on the Stars. Colorado had their nine-game win streak snapped on Tuesday night with a 2-1 loss to the Montreal Canadiens, followed it up with a second loss on Thursday in a shootout to the New York Rangers. Winnipeg is still in that third-place position for the time being, but the way, with the way they've been playing lately, it would not be any bit of a shock to see them fall to fourth and have Nashville jump up into that top three spot. As it stands, Nashville is four points back of the Jets, all square on games played, and these two teams will face off one more time this season. The West Wild Card, we currently have Nashville in the number one spot with 90 points, followed by LA in the two spot with 87 and our third on the wild card list is St. Louis, and they are five back of LA, having played one more game. On to the East and the Atlantic Division, where the standings are going crazy. Boston is currently back up in that number one spot with a two point lead over the Florida Panthers, and one more game played than the Cats. Toronto is still in that third place spot, but their lead over the fourth place Bolts has shrunk to just four points. All square on games played. The Bolts are 8 1 and 1 through their last 10, and these two teams will face off twice more this season. The last matchup is on April 17th, which is the last game of the season for both clubs. So that third place spot may be up for grabs until the last day of the regular season. Finally, on to the Metro, where the Rangers and Hurricanes are still in the one and two spots, but the Washington Capitals have leapfrogged the Philadelphia Flyers and taken over that three spot. Caps and Flyers are currently tied in points and regulation wins, but the Caps have two in hand on the Flyers, and it's hard to see them losing both flat out with the way Ovechkin is playing at the moment. The Islanders and Devils are still on the fringe with 77 and 76 points apiece, respectively, especially for the Isles, who do have two in hand on the Flyers and are only five points back. Making the playoffs is not out of the question by any means for either of these clubs. The Islanders and Flyers do play tonight, so be sure to tune in, as that will surely be a great affair. The East Wild Card, Tampa, is currently in that number one spot, four points back of Toronto for third in the Atlantic. And Philly is in that two wild card spot, two ahead of Detroit with having played one more game. Detroit gets a regulation tonight. If Detroit gets a regulation win tonight against Tampa, they'll move up into that third wild card spot and push Philly out of contention. We got four for the Blue Shirts this week on Monday tonight. They're at home against the Pens on Wednesday. They're home against the Devils. Then they head out to Detroit for Friday night's game. And finally, they're back home on Sunday to face the Habs. Lots of great hockey this week. Be sure to tune in. And until next week, this has been your 150. Welcome to your Rangers Ed Fantasy League update. The quarterfinals are over, so let's hop right into the recap. Starting with our championship bracket. You're going to lose to a girl and the mass holes both enjoyed their bye weeks, but... Not as much as Cousin Ed probably enjoyed Coach Ed mismanaging his roster and not meeting his goalie requirements. It looked like Coach Ed was going to win this one, but Cousin Ed came out on top, going 9-6-0 over Coach. The other quarterfinal was a battle of the Goliaths. Hard to believe True True Chuba Train and Rise of Gautier ended up being the 4-5 game. In a tight matchup this week, Truba Train squeaked ahead, winning 8-5-1 over Gautier thanks to some strategic last-minute trades. Looking at our consolation bracket, Little Ed's workshoppers walloped Lucarelli Law, going 12-3-0. Similarly, Oscar's Pro Stitch kicked fake Coach Ed's butt, winning 10-4-1. The semifinals are happening this week, and we have some monster mashups as our big wig buys get in on the fun. Truba Train is going to lose to a girl. Cousin Ed hopes the mass holes, forgets to set his lineups too, although that's not likely. And Coach Ed gets one more shot to finish in fifth place if he pulls out a win over Rise of Gautier. 
Little Ed has a tough matchup against Devil's State of Mind, while things might continue looking up for Mikey Produces in his match against Oscar's Pro Stitch. Finally, the one I'm sure we've all been waiting for, 11th and 12th place, will finally be decided as Lucarelli Law and Coach Ed's Potato Knishes go head-to-head -head one last time. Who's going to make it into the finals? Tune in next week to find out.